Hello guys. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Welcome to this video. Today is Thursday and we are gonna just do some fun errands and jobs and stuff to get in this video. These are kind of my favorite types of videos to watch so I really hope that you guys also like to watch these kinds of videos. But first thing on the agenda for this video. So this is the corner where my Christmas tree was for the month of December. Now that the Christmas tree has vacated the premises, we have this, which you may recognize from my room in Hamilton. As you can see, like it, it fits, but like it comes over the window a little bit, and I knew it would do that. I knew that was gonna happen. And you may recall from a few vlogs back, I'm pretty sure I vlogged it, I moved this chest of drawers, which was in this corner, to this corner. And I went to the effort of putting the art on the walls, and I knew, I knew that this would fit better in this space because it's a slightly longer piece of like section of wall I knew that it would fit better and I still decided to shift this over here and go to the effort of moving the artwork too and now guess what we're moving it all the way back over here the main reason being well a that doesn't fit and b this is where my bed is I'm moving this to here and then I'm going to put the tv on it with the sound bar and set up like a little movie room I don't know I'm just putting a TV in my room which I'm very excited for I think I just wanted to see what it looked like when it was here I've seen what it looks like I love what it looks like I wish it could stay there but it's just gonna fit better in the other corner I also need to go to Briscoe's and buy some more command strips listen you guys are holding me accountable I'm going to leave the command strips for these pictures on the wall for now in case I change my mind so I can shift it back because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to like having a TV in my room. I'm not really a TV kind of gal, but the TV's literally just sitting downstairs because it's the one from Hamilton. It's just sitting downstairs on the couch, like literally on a couch, doing nothing. I may as well put it in my room, because why the heck not? And then I'll hook it up with the Apple TV that I've also got downstairs. <laughs> Set up my childhood self would be so stoked to have a TV in their room I have like a list of shows that I want to get into this year so this was mandatory to make that happen I have acquired some command strips better late than never it's literally like 5 30 put these on the wall this is the third time I've had to hang these pictures up firstly they're above my bed and the headboard came in then they were over here then that happened so now they're going up here which is where they probably should have been in the first place <laughs> Kia it is now Saturday and I am about to go run a morning of errands. It is 20 past 9, I have a lot of things to do this morning, just like little jobs to tidy up because I go, I go back to work full time next week, I've been kind of part time since I moved back to Auckland, um, but next week is like, we're going to hit the ground running. I need to get some ducks in a row before I do that. Um, so I need to go to the post office and drop off this mighty big bag of packages. I sold some books and some clothes and stuff so that's what that is. Then I have to go pick up my Instax printer from Danny's sister. Then I have to drop some stuff off to my cousin. Then I have to go to Specsavers and choose some glasses because apparently I can't see properly. Then I have to go to the pharmacy and pick up my injection for my skin. Then I have to go get some groceries for dinner. Then I'm gonna go visit my nana and then I'm gonna come home. And then I need to go into the city and drop off my film to be processed. So I don't actually know if that'll happen today because it's quite a hike to get into the city, but we'll see how we go. Also, I am home alone for the next week, so living, loving and laughing. I hate being in my own company, but here we are. Hello. Can I sit my... This car is not made for vlogging at all. As you can tell by the windows, the state of my hair, it is chucking... Oh, it's not chucking it down, but it is raining and it was not raining when I left home. It started raining about 30 seconds after I left home. I did not have an umbrella, I did not have a raincoat, so I'm just going with the flow and getting absolutely saturated in the process. I'm making moves on my to-do list, and I haven't vlogged it because it's been raining, and I haven't wanted to get my camera out in the rain. I've been to Specsavers, and I chose out some glasses. I'm going to be completely honest, I don't love them, but I just wanted the cheapest ones I could get. So I got, it was meant to be two for 169 So I'll put a photo of the glasses, the, the, this beautiful selfie of these glasses. I literally just took the selfie so I can send it to mum and be like, this is what I chose. So I got those and it was two for 169, so I also got some sunglasses, which are just like plain round. And then they sold me on the clear coat because she showed me, like I have trouble at night with like lights looking real like 
in your eyeballs and apparently the clear coat is meant to help with that so I paid another hundred bucks for that so it was actually two for two hundred and sixty dollars <laughs> so that really makes me want to cry to be honest bad eyesight runs in my family so it's kind of inevitable that it's going to get worse so I didn't want to spend like that was kind of the cheapest glasses I could get I didn't want to spend more than that because the likelihood of me needing to get new ones very shortly it's quite high I only really need them for driving so I got a pair of sunglasses and a pair of normal glasses so I can wear the normal ones on days like today and then I can wear the sunglasses and the, when the sun finally decides to rock up then I went into the pharmacy and picked up my injection I don't have to do it till next week or the week after but I'm just being proactive so I have it at home when I need it I feel like I don't really talk about that on here if you're new here I have psoriasis and I inject myself once a month to get rid of it so now you know and then I went and got my groceries which are sitting right here I'm making nachos for dinner cost me like $40 for the ingredients. I did also buy some cereal and some command strips. I'm gonna go visit my nana and go home. I was gonna go in to do my film develop but that plan is just slowly fading away because the weather is gross and I don't really want to go by myself but I don't know if I can convince anyone to come with me. I am home now and it is 10 past 12 and I am just reheating some of the mac and cheese I made for dinner last night. I don't know what happened, but man, it, it didn't work. I was following a new recipe and it just didn't work. So, it still tastes okay. It's just not fantastic. I'm embarrassed. I have been sitting on the couch for the last hour <laughs> watching, I don't know, you guys have probably seen the videos of TikTok before. Her name is Gretzy Path. She's a TikToker and she does her specialties are long distance relationships and makeup. Long distance relationships I have a great interest in. Oh my gosh, the tears are still coming. And I've just been watching long distance videos for the last hour. And the last one I watched was them reuniting after being apart for like two years because of COVID. And I was sitting on the couch bawling my eyes out. Also, update on the long distance situation. I am going to visit Owen. Which I'm excited and nervous for because I haven't travelled overseas in like four years. So I'm a little bit nervous for that. I am going to see him at the start of February for a couple of weeks. I'm going like a working holiday because he still has to work and I still have to work. So I'm just gonna go work over there from Australia and hang out with him for a little bit. The idea of going to get my film developed, I have thrown the towel in on that idea. I can, oh, tripping off my pants. I cannot be bothered driving to the city in this poo weather. Earlier in the video, you guys remember me saying, I'm gonna put up my artwork. Didn't film it, but they also didn't stick to the wall. I don't know if you can see, but there are six, are you, I don't know if you that's showing up on camera, but there are six little tags up on the wall right now, but the two on the far side are missing because for some reason they wouldn't stick. So we've called on the isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to give it a wipe and we're going to try again. Oh, stunning. Good morning. Coming at you guys from the Clevedon Market. We've just been to church this morning, which was spot on. So we're going to go see what we can find at the market. Hello guys, we are home. Do you want to see in the vlog? I bought I bought some flowers. I also bought some kombucha that's in the fridge. And Taya bought a loaf of brioche bread, which we dropped to her grandparents who live in Clevedon. We are home and I'm gonna arrange my flowers into this vase, which I got like in March last year for my birthday. So I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go. And then shortly, in like probably 20 minutes. We are gonna go to Danny's because she's having her leaving party for when she goes to America. It is nearly seven o'clock. You can't see a thing on my screen right now, but it's nearly seven o'clock. We got back from Danny's thing. We're together, Tara and I staying together for this whole week. So we've got the TV secured. Last night we watched a bit of Ted Lasso. Now we're watching Bridgerton. She's getting me into it. She's already watched it, so she's giving me a little bit of side commentary to help me understand what's actually going on because there's a lot of people. But anyway, we have pulled ourselves away from the TV to make some dinner. And conveniently enough, HelloFresh was delivered today. So we're having HelloFresh for dinner. We're having Mediterranean creamy tomato. Do you know how to pronounce that? That that one right there. Pasta. Pasta. Yep. With roasted eggplant and feta. Here we have the eggplant. Is there any reason you just gave me the eggplant and nothing else? We're gonna cook some dinner with you guys. Um, so let's go. Hear 
the oven cooling down in the background. It's really the main character of the kitchen after dinner. Here we have expectation, reality. Looks, smells, hopefully tastes amazing. Actually, let's do a taste test. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Oh, that's so good. What is it? Is that that's creamy tomato? Yeah, that's way better than I thought it was gonna be, not gonna lie. Yes. That's fantastic. But we're gonna go eat. Finish our episode of Bridgerton. Um, but if you do want to try HelloFresh for yourself, you can use my code HFMAYT up to $140 off your first four boxes. But I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Can't bother was made to be bothered, so maybe I will. Oh, 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 hello.